In this demonstration, we're going to show you how Boardwalk can be used in conjunction with the Oracle Blockchain Cloud Service to automate and provide a blockchain capability for a bill of material management between multiple trading partners. Today, this application is run using spreadsheets where data is pulled in from Oracle ERP and supply chain, pulled into a master spreadsheet, and then multiple copies are made of the information and sent to the different contract manufacturers because in these types of processes, you have to have complex and parallel interactions with users where you have Foxconn interacting with data but you don't want Sanmina to see it and you don't want Selectron to see it. And this information is evolving through a working process or a WIP process and then needs to be consolidated back by Brocade and then pushed back to the Oracle ERP environment. Well without a single version of the truth for both the data that can be trusted and shared plus a single version of the truth for the data that's in WIP, you end up having very difficult times trying to figure out what's changed. It's hard to automate the process. There's long process cycles associated with emailing the files back and forth. And fundamentally, there's higher costs for all. And what they're really looking for is a way to have a WIP process and also a single process for storing the data, which is what blockchain provides them. So if you look at how that same process could be run using Oracle and the Oracle Blockchain Cloud Service added as another layer, now you have the Boardwalk Digital Ledger used as a multi-party work and process collaboration and management environment where all of the work and process decisions is captured as part of the Boardwalk application engine where all of the information as people are making changes and submitting it, it's going into the database, the database is being ca or capturing the process changes as WIP and based on smart contract information, selected attributes of the WIP data is being pushed over to the blockchain environment, which now serves as a single environment for trust, verification, <clears throat> and as a tamper-proof data store for the information that's being shared as part of this process. So let's take a look at what this would look like. So I'm going to start in the uh, blockchain application that Brocade would work in. And this is an Excel file. Um, it can be run in any user interface, but a lot of people like to work inside of Excel. And the Boardwalk application engine works very much like a spreadsheet in terms of the way that it shares data. And it also manages data as grids and positional information. And that's important because when you're working inside of Excel, a lot of times you have formulas and you want to be able to leverage the capabilities of formulas inside of Excel without having to rewrite all of this information into a web application. That's a very important capability of the Boardwalk system. Um, you also need to be able to have access control. And you're able to take information. In this case, there's different uh, bomb numbers. There's different clients that are associated with. And there's multiple contract manufacturers that need to be able to complete and provide input on their different parts. But you don't want everybody to see each other's data. So you can take any one of the columns and say, for example, I want to use the contract manufacturer column as the access control. And what that means is that when the brocade user is interacting with the database, they're seeing all the rows. But when the Foxconn user and the Sanmina user are interacting with the data, they're only going to see rows where their name shows up in the contract manufacturer column. So in order to interact with the system, I come in and I say, well, I'm going to refresh this. And when you do a refresh, it looks at the database and it says, hey, have there been any changes that are not reflected in my spreadsheet? If show, bring those in. And I can see right here that some changes from ERP have been brought in where some new detail information about the invoice number, the order status of this particular part is brought in. So without having to do any copying and pasting, the information is brought in automatically at a cell level. And now what I want to be able to do is say, well, what would this look like if I'm one of the users at Foxconn? So I'm going to switch over and I'm going to say, well, let's take a look at what Foxconn would see. And now you can see the user interface that Foxconn uses. Again, it's inside of an Excel environment, but it could be run inside of any user interface. But in the case of Excel, you have capabilities for providing um, inputs and, and making changes to data. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to say, I'm going to switch this to completed. And I'm going to say finalized. Um, and I'm going to change the date here. I'm going to say, you know what, this is now done on the 18th. And as I do this, you can see all of this work being done inside of Excel. And when I go in and I say submit now, this is the column that's being keyed for the smart contract. So multiple items are being pushed into the chain, but this one in particular, from a WIP perspective, is waiting for this state to get to completed. And when it gets to completed, then a round trip happens to the blockchain in order to pull the 
transaction into the Oracle environment or into the Boardwalk environment, and also to create an entry into the digital ledger on the Oracle Blockchain Cloud Service. So now that I've done this change, it's been pushed to the database, and now it's round tripping to the Oracle service. And when I refresh this, I'll see a transaction ID has been generated inside of the Boardwalk environment that was created within the Oracle Blockchain Cloud Service. Now, I also may want to, as I said, interact with the data in another environment. So if I go and I open up the browser view of the same data, but now I'm logged in as Sanmina, you can see here that I only see the Sanmina data, whereas in the other view, I was seeing Foxconn. And maybe I'll come in here and I'll say final changes. I'll just make a little update here and I'll say submit this. So now I've done two changes as two different users. And, and now what do, if I go back to the brocade view where I started and now I click on refresh, I'll see those changes come in. So I'm going to see the change from Foxconn where remember this was changed from in progress to completed. You can see also the final changes that were done by this Sanmina user. You can also see that this transaction ID has been brought in from the Oracle Blockchain Cloud Service into Boardwalk, so you can see it. You can also see that when the updates were done by all the different users. And the Boardwalk system is a digital ledger, so you can go back and you can look at any cell and say, for example, let's take a look at this one and see how it's changed over the last week. And just by clicking on that, I can say, show me a cell history of all the changes that have been done to this particular cell over time. And you can use information like this to be able to look at reports and drive information both inside of Excel reports and also out to any data environment leveraging the Boardwalk Digital Ledger because it's running on a SQL database. So the last thing we want to do from a demo perspective is take a look at this where we can see this transaction ID is 5EA5277. So let's go over and take a look at the Oracle Blockchain Cloud Service and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to query this. So then this is going to go look at the blockchain itself, look at the most recent transaction, and I can see right here, I've just generated this one, and I look at 5EA5277. So this is the same transaction ID that's now connected up to the Oracle Blockchain Cloud Service. So you have a single irrefutable view of the data um, connected up to the process information running inside of the web. So let's take a look at this kind of summary so we can kind of talk about where we were. So first of all, the Boardwalk Tech System provides this patented digital ledger capability. It gives you the ability to take Excel applications and very quickly develop enterprise applications. It has cell level versioning, audit trail, sharing, access control and integration. And very importantly, especially for supply chain and multi-party applications, it has on and off chain data management, which we think is very important because some of the information is going to remain off chain. Some of it's going to be on chain. And when it's on chain, of course, you have the Oracle blockchain cloud service, which gives you more secure data sharing, a verified consensus, an irrefutable data store, tamper proof audit trails, and this provenance system of record. So combined, Boardwalk, Oracle ERP, and SEM, and the Oracle Blockchain Cloud Service provides a very powerful offering that we believe will transform supply chain and other operations for existing and new Oracle clients.